You're looking to get in shape? Well, lucky for you, cannabis is fantastic when paired with activities. But nothing like the munchies to come along and f*** that up, right? Right? And that's just enough of that. Can someone help me down from here, please? Hungry, happy, sleepy. One of these things is not like the other. Because unfortunately, one of these things leaves me wrestling with regret. But the new rare cannabinoids are in rare form today, my friends. I mean, what can't they do? I have an announcement. Today, the so-called skinny cannabinoid has been named and claimed for cannabis enthusiasts worldwide. So today, I need you to throw up a V for victory over the munchies and doing crunchies and eating tomorrow's lunchies. Good news, everyone. Today, we are going to digest some information on the skinny cannabinoid, and that is THC V. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, Dr. Ife Abioli here, and today we are going to discuss THCV, and this is today's itinerary. So what cannabinoid are we talking about? That again is THCV, tetrahydrocannabivarin. And we get THCV when we add sufficient heat to THCVA, tetrahydrocannabivarinolic acid. Now, THCV is not prevalent in a lot of cannabis plants. Why is that? Because the enzymes that turn CBGVA to THCVA are very, very rare. Why? Because those genes that make that enzyme are also very rare. You follow? Also, the strains that have a slightly higher THCVA tend to be endemic to remote areas and very difficult to grow. So this might be the reason you haven't heard of a cannabinoid with such high potential. Today, that changes. Through the power of selective breeding, technology, and extraction methods, today we have THCV products, and there's much more coming soon. So take the next few minutes to soak in the information so you can impress your friends by understanding this new and novel cannabinoid completely, totally, thoroughly, thorough. Getting into how this cannabinoid works, let's reference it with the high and mighty titan that is THC. THC, which is an agonist for CB1. And because of this, THC not only causes a high, but it also causes hunger. One of the reasons is because of the distribution of CB1 receptors in areas that affect the hunger and reward systems of your brain. The ones with appetite increasing effects, and thus we have the munchies. This can lead to overeating, and yes, there are some ways around this. But what if there was a way to not only eliminate the munchies, but reduce your appetite? And reduce your appetite through the day and lower some of the factors that contribute to weight gain and not cause a high. How could you do that? Just go on the internet and lie like that? Well, let me describe THCV's effects and how it works. THCV is a competitive antagonist to CB1. Antagonist. Don't consider it the anti-THC that would take its place. This is reverse THC. THC's mortal enemy, you know, tying people to the tracks, avoiding the constabulary and illegal tactics. So instead of just blocking hunger so you feel nothing, this reverses it. You'll feel less hungry overall using THCV. Do you get me now? Sorry, I get this way when I haven't eaten. Well, sounds like you have some trouble maintaining your blood sugar. Well, lucky for you, THCV also controls certain glycemic parameters. Serum glucose. What that means is that it can control the amount of sugar in your blood. Or Splenda. There has been a buffet of studies in the past that show THCV can reduce blood sugar in certain animal models, particularly mice. I know, just mice. And that doesn't apply to human beings. Even though nothing's more invigorating than the satisfying sting of electrocuting yourself while gnawing through a live copper wire. More recently, there was a double-blind, placebo-controlled study on humans on the safety and efficacy of THCV. And to no one's surprise, THCV reduced fasting serum glucose by 10%, where the placebo did not. So how does THCV even pull this off? Well, insulin is a hormone that moves glucose into the cells. Having low availability of insulin or cells that are insensitive to insulin causes a whole host of disorders. And insulin comes from our pancreas. More specifically, our beta cells. What THCV did was increase the function of these insulin producing cells by 37% on the HOMA2 scale. Seriously, cut the ribbon because this is groundbreaking. So could THCV be the feather in the carb cap? 
for cannabis enthusiasts everywhere? Hey friend, you wanna have good times with low risk? There's a cannabinoid for that. You wanna get relief or protect your brain or repair your body? There's a cannabinoid for that. For all cannabis enthusiasts, it should also be noted that the inflammatory processes and stress lead to changes in physiology that can promote weight gain. Having an anti-inflammatory cannabinoid like many of the other ones I have mentioned in this cannabinoid series could be the ideal combination for you to maximize your fitness and health. However, it should be known that these cannabinoids are not a substitution for a more formalized regimen for your health. Formal treatments should take center stage, but if cannabis can promote a healthy lifestyle, then it's something to definitely look into. Yes? But what exactly should someone expect when mixing THCV with another cannabinoid? Well, keep in mind if the other cannabinoid in your combo stimulates CB1, you should get a blunted two in a row. High. And for those CB1 stimulators, a reduced set of side effects, far more than we would see with a partial competitor like CBD. THCV is also a neuroprotectant, so combining them with those cannabinoids that provide repair and relief for the body, it could be a match made in cannabis heaven, wherever that is. And if you don't know which cannabinoids reduce stress, provide relief to the body, protect the brain, and a host of other things, there is more information about these cannabinoids right here. And it's free. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you'd like to know more about THCV and other great cannabinoids, we do have all that great information. And until the next cannabinoid in our series, we will see you soon.